Good morning, Jean-François Crezet Engineering. I design board, I design also firmware. On a project recently, I needed to uh, check the analog voltages on uh, some signals. And I found out that one of my old uh, Elwood Packard scope was performing quite well, although it is uh, like a 30 hold uh, scope. And this is the same oscilloscope and it's a 350 MHz uh, scope, but it needs to be calibrated. And uh, likewise for this uh, Textronic oscilloscope, I noticed the discrepancy between the analog measurement from both uh, oscilloscopes and from the signal I was expecting. And I had the idea to design this calibration tool. This one is uh, in the final uh, design stage. It should be manufactured for samples and prototyping. We are using operational prefire input stage. We have two connections, one for BNC and one for banana plug. And uh, since the oscilloscope probe is actually one meg or 10 meg impedance input, we want a high uh, impedance input and a filter on the analog channel so that we don't have a voltage divider over here because I want to be able to measure directly from the amplifier minus 3 to 30 volts this operational amplifier input voltage range supports this and I don't want anything in between the signal and the amplifier we have a one-to-one -one output just a high impedance input with a filter and the voltage divider stands afterwards we select either of the two channels. If we don't select any channel, we have the voltage reference picking up and the voltage reference is a high impedance source and the amplifier are low impedance source. So therefore, this will work because if we keep open this uh, three-way jumper, we have then a voltage reference of 10 volt over here. We see that the voltage input range is from minus 3 up to plus 30 volt because this amplifier is not rail to rail. We want some margin, some negative uh, measurement input. And therefore, we will make rails 0, positive and negative. And then the heart of this board is actually this microchip MCP3425, which is a 16-bit ADC with i c output. And it has an internal 2.048 volt with 0.05% factory accuracy. Therefore, we will just use this out of the box, but we will scale down the voltage from the external inputs. And we have this bridge over here, and these resistors will need to be very accurate resistors. Otherwise, this circuit itself will need to be trimmed and uh, calibrated. And that's why we have a VRF of 10 volts also here. We want to be able to calibrate the boards from time to time. And therefore, we have an internal VRF made out of this part, which is a precision voltage reference. The output is 10 volts for this part. And it is a class uh, D. And the class D is a plus 1% tolerance. But we can really use a class A or B or C if we want better tolerance on this 10 volts. We have the pull-up for the ice crassy protection diodes test points, fiducials and uh, mounting points, power conversion. This LDO outputs our 3.3 volt stabilized rail for the conversion circuit. And we have a negative uh, voltage reference generation over here, this LM79 L05. We'll make from our input voltage our uh, minus 5 volt. And the amplifier will be supplied from anything up to about 15 volts. And then the limits on the input voltage measured will be about 15 volts as well. Or if we use a linear regulator supporting up to 30 volt, we can increase up to 30 volt maximum input. And minus 5 volts for the negative rail of the amplifier. And we actually have a minus VSW, which is our supply voltage regulated down to minus 5 volt. So we will use this reference up to say uh, 15 volt DC input to calibrate our uh, instrumentation. 
with a clean uh, 10 volt reference and provided we don't need more than 15 volts on the measurement side this board can be suitable with this layout there we have a BNC connection for our oscilloscope probes power supply and BNC uh, banana connections and the board is uh, small it's uh, 55 by 65 millimeter size it will be queried by an external controller and therefore this will be used as a precision ADC input it can be used for calibration as well because of our test points over here say we want to calibrate a voltmeter or oscilloscope we can simply probe the 10 volts uh, reference over here and this board can be used uh, therefore as a simple bench uh, precision calibration tool what we want is uh, this version of the uh, reference uh, Zener, which is a class A 0.1% for our 10 volts. This board design is uh, finer as of this first prototype. It will be manufactured for samples and uh, testing in the lab. I will post some uh, information on the performance of this uh, circuit. If uh, otherwise uh, interested in uh, this board, it will be placed for purchase on the um, website and you can have a tool to cal check calibration for your meters or make an automated uh, conversion ADC for your lab. Our boards are sold on this website LCE. The link in description if you're interested in this project you can always follow this channel or even consider take one of these uh, boards. Uh, thanks for your interest.